Here's a little picture. I um, wrapped some number 14 bus wire around the uh, ends of the resistor. I had tinned them first. I very, very gently cleaned them with wire, um, what do you call it, steel wool. But uh, after I very gently cleaned it, then I wrapped the wire around the ends of it and then soldered it on pretty securely. And uh, <laughs> you can see that the resistor is now 49.9 ohms. I got the meter hooked on it. So <clears throat> I've got the resistor pretty well in hand here. I got a lot of the brass on the ends covered with solder. So it's a real good connection. A whole lot better than this little spring clip, which kind of just grabbed it. So now we're going to go ahead and modify the internals so that this resistor can lay horizontal and then the wires will come up to the top. When we do that, I will then uh, show you the uh, final configuration that I have. I've done this once before, but this time um, the resistor is uh, out so I can take a video of it, show you what I did to it, and uh, see how well it works. But there we have it. little noise in the meter. MFJ, what can I say? Not MFJ, sorry, Harbor Freight. <laughs> yeah, you're never quite sure about those meters. Any case, let me get back to it and uh, we'll make another video.